<laughs> All right, sorry, I couldn't, because I couldn't do this many things. I had to add something, so I got the swivel chair here, see? It's kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, other than making you dizzy, how's it going, audience? Yeah? Yeah? All right, well, I hope everyone is doing well. Sorry, uh, it's been a long time since I last checked in. Uh, I kind of fell off the horse and had to remind myself what my goal was. If you don't remember, I think my goal was something like this. Uh, there's a little bit of extra spin for you. This is going to be my first step towards running a five mile marathon. Hopefully. I'd love to be able to run a five mile marathon soon. That would be fantastic, especially next year. I want to be able to be more active in my life. And that's the reason why I, I do this 30 day stuff. Just because before it was to see if I could last 30 days, but now... Now, now that I've lasted the first 30 days, now I need to change something else. I want to keep changing constantly. I want to keep improving. Okay, so yeah, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so today marks day 178. Day 178 and counting down. Not, we're not counting up anymore because, because I've got that goal. And I, in order to accomplish that, I need to stop counting up and start counting down. So in that way, I can know how much time I have left before... My goal happens. I just got back from swimming today. It was awesome. I had to convince myself to start swimming again. So that's why I kind of went back to that. Sorry, this way. Went back to that video. And, you know, the nice thing about having that journal or having that those videos to look back upon is that you can remember, remind yourself what your goal was. What did you want to accomplish by doing this? Because... You can easily say, oh, I want to lose weight. That's all. That's good. That's fine. You can, by all means, go ahead and say that. But you need to give it more meaning. If you give it more purpose, then you actually are more focused. You're more motivated to actually completing it, to actually following through with it. So that's why we're going to start counting down now. So I have 178 days left before the color run in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm hoping with this whole thing, like, to run on the weekends, you know, just to see, just to keep my legs and all that working and all that such. I still want to continue walking every day. I haven't been doing that for the last two weeks because, well, my routine changed completely. My whole work schedule is different. No school anymore. Anyways, I have a new routine and the hard thing about new routines is that it's hard to get back to keep some stuff from your older routine. So I apologize greatly once. I, like I said, I had to remind myself why, why I need to get back on this. And you guys, I'm looking forward to you guys because you guys are my greatest motivation. It's the people who take their time out to watch this every day, you guys are the ones that keep me going on this. And because it's not just going back to the old videos and watching your goals to remind yourself. It's also, you know, the support of the people around you to see that other people are completing goals because it's something that you did. That's a very gratifying feeling. And it pushes you to complete even more goals and I really want to um, I want to do this this is gonna be awesome so all right well that's all I wanted to say I think I'm gonna continue swimming around in my chair somewhere but anyways <laughs> sorry um, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week and from now on I'm gonna start counting down so my countdown might be a little bit more different but I guess we'll be okay <laughs> take care audience We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.